Trump has been ordered to pay a hefty fine, ground-breaking fine. Uh, a lot of people think this is very anti-American. A lot of people feel that this is anti-entrepreneur. A lot of people think this is anti-personal finance, where the government can just come in, create this lawfare, not warfare, lawfare, lawfare. and get their political enemies to file lawsuits to shut down one's empire. And so a lot of people, if, if, if you're just looking at it from the surface level and you don't go deep, it's very easy to point shots and point fingers and say, yeah, he did this right, or yeah, he did this wrong. If you don't go deep, you don't understand the, the, the depth behind these things. It's very easy to be judgmental in terms of what's going on. But I think uh, Kevin O'Leary, yeah. uh, 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 very, very adamant about what's going on right now, that a lot of people right now are, are looking to leave New York. Uh, I think New York is uh, not one, if not number two, city and state to lose people to other states. And they're coming to Florida, they're coming to Texas, they're coming to Tennessee. Number two on that list would be California, number three would be Chicago. Uh, I don't know exactly the order, but those, those are the top three. But Judge, uh, excuse me, Attorney General Letitia James said she'll ask the court to seize his assets if he does not pay. If you can, uh, Jordan, if you can take a look at my screen here real quick. Uh, I, I took this uh, clip from the NBC News uh, YouTube channel. Here's his options. Right, Trump has got some options. By the way, I talked to this situation to other business people, other entrepreneurs, other real estate investors, other business owners. Million dollar level, decade million dollar level, billion dollar level. I talked to attorneys. I talked to people that can just look at it from an unbiased political standpoint. Just look at the letter of the law, looking at our constitution, look at our declaration of independence, look at the way America is set up and how they felt, felt about it. And here, here's the thing with this whole fraudulent uh, asset inflation case that went down in a civil case. It's not a criminal case. It's a civil case. A lot of people feel, man, this is an attack on the entrepreneur. This is an attack on the real estate investor. This is an attack on somebody that's going out there making a name for themselves and going from rags to riches where the government can come in and seize everything that you built just because they don't agree with you. Now, I've been in that type of situation, much, much less different. My situation with this, I felt this way when I went through family law, hmm. where I walked into a family court case, and right away, even though I had custody of the kids, right away I'm blacklisted as a deadbeat dad. I had to spend additional money on attorneys for myself and my children because the law looked at fathers differently in court. And back to the Trump case here, I don't know if you dove deep into this, uh, this uh, conversation or this topic or the situation, but uh, uh, what, what has been, your, what has been your, um, your hand on the pulse of this situation from the outside looking in? That's a thought that came to mind when you brought up that this is an attack directly on an entrepreneur, on the real estate agents, people who are trying to build their own business. Yep. So for someone who's kind of on the fence of things, who's comfortable you know, uh, working their nine to fives, working their corporate jobs, and they're doing okay. And since they're making okay money and they're not trying to, I guess, surpass a certain threshold of, of, of financial freedom, like, hey, man, like, it's, it's really not that bad. Why do entrepreneurs constantly have to feel like the victims? Why do real estate agents or people who are trying to build their own business consistently nag about being the victims of what the government's trying to do when in reality the government's doing what they can to help everybody at once? Because it's 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 been a, a consistent flow. Whenever I do have conversations with my friends, I'm like, man, this is this is, you know the economy's going crazy. The reason I moved down to Dallas, Texas, because of the taxes, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to grow and X Y Z X Y Z X Y Z. And a lot of my friends are like, bro, you can make good money. You don't have to have the luxurious experiences that you have to have. You don't need to grow your business to X Y Z level. All you're trying to do is raise a family, have kids, right, yep. and then do what you can. Yep. Why why are you guys consistently attacking the government for trying to help the entire nation and people who are in need? Because those people also need help. So going back to what you just said now on, you know, it feels like it's an attack on real estate agents, people trying to make their money and they're entrepreneurs. Why do you feel that that's like the main, uh, f like the, the feeling that yeah. comes amongst a lot of people? Because here's a scary part. Le le okay, he loses a civil case, not a criminal case. Okay. The reason why it's not a criminal case is because who's the victim? Yeah. Nobody's the victim here. Nobody's saying Trump ripped me off. Yeah. Nobody's saying, oh, he got me on that deal. Nobody's saying, oh, uh, he, he took advantage of us here and because of inflating his assets, he made an extra da-da-da-da-da, and we, uh, and he uh, uh, unrichly in, uh, he unjustly enriched himself, I think that's the legal term behind it, right? Yeah. And we are the ones that paid, because oftentimes people think in entrepreneurship or in sales, there's a win-lose situation, like in the streets, right? There's a win-lose. Yeah. The, the drug dealers win, 
but their customers lose. Yeah. Right? People think that that's the way business should be done. The best situation in business should be win, win, win situation. The client wins, number one. That's the first person that should win is the client, the customer. Yeah. They win. Now, does Trump's, do Trump's uh, customers win? If I'm, if I'm an investor in, in, in Trump buildings and uh, condo hotels and anything that he slaps the Trump name on, do I want to get in on their deal? 100%. Oh, okay, because he makes you money. Yeah, 100%. Right? Are they, are they the ones, are the clients the ones filing uh, this, this civil lawsuit? No. Yeah. They're not. Um, the banks. Are the banks claim, uh, cl- uh, claiming foul, even though he's filed multiple times uh, corporate bankruptcy? with the banks in, in his previous history. Are they the ones client crying foul? No. No. Because they lent the money based on the appraised value and they bought it. Yeah. And, and they got it. And so um who 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 here who who is who's the loser? Because the client should win number one. Yeah. The 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 uh the the vendor or the carrier, the product moving their product or service should win. Yeah. And number three, the entrepreneur that puts those three pieces together should win too as well. Now for example, uh, your clients win, you win the gym you do business wins, any supplement company that you refer people to, yeah. any doctor, medical professional, healthcare professional you refer people to, they win. The network Who wins. loses in your business? That's a good business. Yeah. Our business, people get life insurance, people get retirement planning, people, the carriers move the products because they don't have their own internal salespeople. In they don't lose, they win. They, they, don't, they don't pay us for advertising until we sell something, right? So- so if you're a client customer of Trump right now, and you say you're an investor in, uh, in multiple of his endeavors, yeah. or just one of his endeavors, how is this specific issue affecting you as a customer client? So he, he, here's, a, here's a lesson in personal finance, okay? Now, Trump ordered his order to pay cash. He's got the cash, Yeah. okay? Um, but the lesson you should learn here, too, as well, is just because you have a lot of assets, people think that oftentimes billionaires have all this cash. No, they have a lot of assets. Yeah. A lot of their wealth is on paper. And what they do is they borrow money from the banks to get the cash. Yeah. A couple of reasons why. They don't liquidate the position. Number two, they don't pay. And if they do liquidate their position, they don't pay any capital gains tax on liquidating their position in that, in a property. They don't lose control of that asset. That's why millionaires and billionaires, if they need cash, they go to a bank and loan against it. And the bank uses the asset, the business, the building, as collateral. So, for example, if, if Elon Musk wants to uh, take a billion dollars of cash from his stock and wants to invest in something else outside of his outside of him outwardly selling his stock and yeah. position in the company, he go to a bank, Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan Chase, you know the, the market makers. Yeah. So listen, put this as collateral. Let me set this aside as collateral because if I don't pay back your billion dollar loan that you're about to give me, you can take my stock in the company. Yeah. Right. And yeah. based on the, the value of the stock of the company, stability of the company, they're like, yep, yeah, that's a good deal for us. Yeah. In the meantime, you pay us X amount of interest. Oh, by the way, business interest is tax deductible. And you receive this billion dollars of money. There's no, there's no um, income tax because it's a loan. S- similar way people withdraw money from life insurance policies is a loan. There's no tax on it. Why? Because it's a, it's a loan. So Trump's got the cash. He just doesn't want to put it. So um, and his other silica, uh, 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 case, he's, um, I think the uh, the, uh, the the sexual harassment case. Yeah. I think they lo- I think they lowered that a little bit. But uh, uh, this is a lesson in personal finance. Cash flow is king. And then we have cash flow, you minimize the expenses, don't spend it into luxurious things, set it aside for cash. So therefore you capitalize yourself because you have a lot of liquid cash and capital. You feel confident, you feel strong, you can have a strong backbone, you can look up right, you can look at people in the eye when you have cash. Third aspect of it is then credit for the right purposes, for leverage purposes. If you don't have any purposes for, for credit, then it's for jokers. If it's just using credit for maintaining a lifestyle to buy things that depreciate in value, just to impress people that don't care about you anyway, that's a loser type move. But if you're losing credit for leverage, it means you're, you're earning arbitrage, meaning you're borrowing at one rate, but earning another. So for example, brother, you go down to the bank, they, they leverage us all day long. They give you, what, what do you get in a savings account? What type of uh, interest rate? Oh man, I, that's one of those things where I just go once a year and get it checked out, man. <laughs> and that's probably my mistake. That's probably something I should be doing. So for example, you'll get about maybe yeah. two, 3% if two, you put into a five-year CD. Uh, uh, excuse me. The high yield, into, right? Uh, high yield yeah. CD. Twelve month. You got to lock it up. Yeah. They'll give you five percent. Yeah. So what do you think they do on the flip side? They 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 pay you five percent to borrow your hundred thousand dollars. Well, guess what they do through fractional lending? They lend a hundred thousand dollars to other people like myself, who's yeah. also a banking customer. Yeah. Or potential banking customer. They loan that same hundred thousand dollars for a for a, a business line of credit at nine, ten, eleven, twelve percent. 
in the form of credit cards yeah. at 20%, yeah. right? In the form of student loans yeah. at 6%. At, you, know, you, you see my point? Yeah. So they're, they're paying you 5%, yeah. but they're collecting 8, 9, 20%, mortgage 6%, 7%. Yeah, don't. So that spread yeah. is their profit. Yeah, because they're, they're still making profit off of the collection. And just, right. wait, wait, I, I see what you're saying. So as, as, I, as, I, as we wrap up this topic, you know, Trump's got four options here. Either A, use his own cash, which he has, but doesn't want to pay. According to his attorneys, he doesn't have. But, you know, he does, you, a lot of people know he has it. Yeah. Uh, number two, he can receive a large cash gift from cash from others, large gift of cash from others. Number three, he can start selling his property. Now, keep in mind that when he lost this uh, uh, civil lawsuit, he could no longer be a president. He and his sons and daughter could no longer be president of any business director position or executive position in all of New York. So they, they can't be running the, in other words, they can't run the company. Yeah. And they assigned a special master to the Trump corporation from the government, from New York to monitor everything that goes down financially with Trump organization. That's stressful as fuck. Man. Shh. Yeah. And the, th the thing, the thing here too is uh, he can file bankruptcy. Yeah. Right. And, and they've, they've, and by the way, I, that's the scary part. Let's say he files bankruptcy and uh, they take over the property or the government takes over the property. By the way, that's what they want to do all the way. That's what they want, want to do to begin with. They want to take him down. Um, they, by the way, they try, try to take him down. By the way, I'm not trying to say this as a Trump apologist. I'm saying this as an entrepreneur, not a politician, or nor somebody that, that is trying to get your vote for one way or the other. I'm just saying this as a pers from a personal lens, entrepreneurial lens, faith-based lens, of the injustice that's going on here, because if it could happen to him, it could happen to you. And you know, Kevin Leary even said that many people today in a world are losing their faith in the United States and the environment of where to invest in the United States. I was, I was gonna ask, from, from these four options that, that you gave, that uses cash, receive large, uh, large gift, sell property, file bankruptcy. If you were in this position right now at this very moment, out of those four options, what would you do and why? If, I, if that was me? If you were in this position right now. <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd, I'd, uh, I collateralize my property yeah. and and uh, uh, get a loan for the settlement and pay off the government, get them on, on my face. So you wouldn't go with option two, which is receive a large gift or cash from other people. Sure, that would, but then I'm beholden to other people. Yeah, but isn't there like a bunch? Even if it's a gift, isn't there yeah. a bunch of loopholes, especially if it's a huge lump it's sum of money that gift. you have to go through? Yeah, yeah. I don't feel like I'm obligated to anybody, bro. Yeah. yeah I, I, if if people send it to me as a gift. And then I have to, if, if any, it's a thousand bucks, a 10,000 bucks, a hundred thousand bucks, do I own you anything? Are you going to look at me differently because I took your cash? I just yeah. don't like to have to go through that question. Yeah. So if I take your money now, am I bought? Now do I have to lean a certain way? Now are you going to influence people or do I maintain, or can I just look at myself in a, in a mirror knowing that I'm, I still got integrity? Yeah. That people, gen, that sometimes it's hard for me and people like you and I to accept praise, gifts. Like we, we, you and I are hard to, we don't like receiving gifts from a lot of people. Yeah. Like I've, I've learned to, to become accustomed to receiving gifts. Yeah. I don't know about cash, yeah. but people just give me cash. Matt, I know you're going through a hard time right now. Here's a hundred million bucks. Do what I owe you. What do you want? What do you, what, exactly. what, 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 you what, have to what, do something for them. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's the thing about taking large cash from gas, from, from, from cash from, from, from other people. So. so if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.